All right, what is up, my dudes? Offbe Gaming is back in the medium. As you might recall, we had just entered this. I think it's a tunnel leading into a fort. After following the mysterious phone call, and then the other world kind of grabbed us again. So now we're back in this sort of vision to determine what is going on here. The place felt old and soaked in misery figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But also, I can't help but notice that, uh... Darkness. Light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world. Like, I noticed that both in the real world and the other world, my button prompts to access whatever action I'm about to do are different. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Whoa, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Eerie drawings. All right. Good, good. Glad we found that. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, that's over. Glad that happened. Now we're just cold. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Caution, fire hazard. Good. Uh -huh. We got some birds. All right, we got a fork in the road. And a dead animal. Oh, what happened to you? That is an excellent question. I can't really uh say one way or another, but they basically took a big old chunk out of its neck. Again, this move, this uh, this game is going to touch on some very sensitive topics. Um, obviously with passing photosensitivity with lights and sh everything. There's a lot of warnings when this game opens up, so again, stick around if you feel you can handle it. Otherwise, I'm not going to request or force anyone to. This is sort of being played for myself, but at the same time, I would like to uh, enjoy it with pe other people who wish to view me playing it. I just don't want anyone to end up in a position that makes them uncomfortable or causes any issues physically. Physically or mentally. What the hell? Excellent question. Fancy gravestone. 
And a symbol monkey. And the genre this game is listed under is psychological horror, so there might also be some scary shit. But I mean, you're kind of in that wheelhouse when you're playing a game about the afterlife. So, I mean, it's not too difficult to imagine. Oh, here we go again. Oh, God. Okay, now I'm just fully in this world. What the hell are you, Neva? The there was... Place. There was no... Ha <laughs> but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions. And none of them good. Freaking... There was no half and half on that one. I was just all the way in the other world. And I wonder if that's, uh... Gonna be some sort of... Oh shit moment in the game. Because she seems to have the ability to... Unwillingly, mind you, wander between both worlds. So I'm curious if she'll make some kind of comment in... If she actually does kind of like blank out in the real world for a minute and go completely into the other world. Don't want to miss any secrets like this one. Broad Horizons. Buren program. New Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones. The future of communication. Global eradication of smallpox. The greatest medical achievement of our times. Huh. Obviously, this game is not set in <coughs> our actual real-world time. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Double Good question. A spare bedroom, apparently. Postcard. My love, summer in full swing, the resort is stuffed with to the gills, and you know what that means. No more work for yours truly, but it's good work, honest work. Mr. Rebekovitz says he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. Neva says, hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing daydream for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. Hotels huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you, F. Obviously, uh... Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. Not much here. I mean, there's a screwdriver. Oh, this could come in handy. Never know when you might need a screwdriver. Ow! What the hell? Scared the crap out of it. Fuck you, car! Alright, man, I don't even want your screwdriver anymore. Let me guess, I'm going to use the screwdriver to get inside because I keep unintentionally doing the right thing. Damn right! Don't suppose I can get into this side. Hello? Anybody in there? Cool. Locked. Obviously, there's got to be another way. <sighs> Hello. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. 
If only I could reach it. Well, probably gonna push a box or something out of this room, huh? The great dumpster heist of 1999. Oh, that the year this is in? Hey, other me, give me a hand here. <laughs> That's how this works, right? I just have to strike the two people. Starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. Fucking for reals. And we go up. And we go up. I don't think this game has any actual combat. It feels almost like a Detroit or Heavy Rain type situation where I'm just kind of interacting with the world. And then the world the game is just kind of playing out. I feel like this is more of a visual story than an action story. This is no control here. Shoo. Uh. I exploded a shoe. It's true. Okay. I popped a shoe and screams came out. I don't know what to do anymore. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? The duckling. The dragon of Wowl Hill, part four. Why did my teeth fall out? Back to school. Uh, puzzles and crosswords and much more. I probably could have just done this. <laughs> you know, been smart about it. Okay, so I am here in the lobby. Uh, hotel main entrance. I am in the, currently in the lobby. There's a reception desk. Elevators. Cool sauna, ooh. And the day room up there? All right, well, let's check reception. Reception don't seem to have done for me. Sinners be damned. Both for Pedro. Ah, uh, that's topical right there, ain't it? The star of the Bolshoi Theater, Vivian, the Neva Workers Resort. Can I Jedi that flashlight? Hello? Thomas? Well, I'm about to go to the other side, aren't I? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. I know I promised to visit, but I guess what I got promoted, yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. Really think this might be at a fresh start place to call home. For us, I mean. You meet the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. All right. 
Quality time by the lake. Aw, oh, yeah. Plus, I feel like a haunted hotel is the last place that a medium should be. Then again, I don't really know much about the medium profession. So, I mean, I guess in actuality, this might be exactly where you should be, because this is where you'd be the most helpful. But at the same time, you're welcoming a lot of dark energies. Like, this sounds like a horrible idea. There's two sides of the coin, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here, like... That shoe over there is still screaming. Hey, it's that same ball from before. Oh, don't you touch that shit. That's bad juju. Hi there. Oh, hi. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. I'm sadness. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Something happened to them? Uh, 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 I don't really want to talk about it. Th that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was not anymore. So, tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. So they might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. W would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, I'm Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, somewhere. Take your time. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. Marianne. I can't go that way. Damn. <clears throat> I need to get up there somehow. The music just ba dum ba dum. Uh, okay. So obviously my spirit can see the stairs, but the real me cannot. And because I can't travel separate from each other the spirit is blocked by the stairs. Elevator? Hey. An elevator. Might as well see if it works. Uh, second floor. We're on the first, so second floor. 
sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Okay. Let go. Oh. There. A fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. All right. Got to move fast. An out of body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. I saw the energy over here. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, get it, get it, get fast. Okay, Marianne. All right, let's go. We ask back and power up that elevator. Yeah, I can see her, like, tweaking out up there. Interesting, interesting mechanic. All right, so now we have an issue where my spirit can't progress. Can I shimmy here? The art of internationally acclaimed painter Richard Tarkowski for the first time in the New World Resort. 14 Jaloon. 14 Jaloon. I just mixed the hell out of those. <laughs> 14th of June. <laughs> Would you like to ride in my beautiful Jaloon? I don't understand. What am I looking at? Okay, I need a heading. I need a place to go. Can't go up those stairs. Can't cross here. Elevator? Oh, this is where I was. So I need to get to this floor. Or no, I'm still trying to go to floor two, stupid. What am I, what am I thinking? This is where the elevator got stopped. Yeah. I need to go to this one. I can see footprints. Okay, so she went up the stairs down this way. Huh. What is that? <gasps> Great question. Sadness? It's a big old spoonful of nope. Okay. Not getting through here. Uh. 
Oh. Oh no. Fuck. Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay. Got me some old key. Nothing else in here, so back to the body. Back that way sounds gross. I mean, her footprints keep going. I, that door. I need to get through that door, I think. Yeah, they just won't let me leave, that's all. You're very loud. me shivers. Looks like the only way. Great. Nowhere to go but down. That sounded like a bad time. This room, it feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Probably got to put a flower in it. Anyway, I believe the game just saved, and I think this has been relatively enough time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Obviously, as I said when I finished my playthrough of Ultra Age, I was going to do one or two episodes of this, just for the sake of seeing if it's something that people would enjoy. The first one didn't really do all that well, so I'm, which is why I'm not going to put too much work into it if it do, if it itself doesn't continue to do well but ultimately uh i think the game is fun so i'll probably just play it by myself if that's the case so like subscribe tell me what you think and we'll see you next time